Karsite speak common and advances into melee as quickly as possible. He prefers to engage foes that lack magic weapons, but if attacked with such an item, he focuses his attacks on that individual. A Karsite generally saves enemy spellcasters for last in a fight, relying on his spell resistance to fend off their spells and his spell healing ability to keep him on his feet. He might try to capture enemy spellcasters for later torture, but if a particular spellcaster regularly penetrates his spell resistance, he changes tactics and attempts to defeat that enemy as quickly as possible. A Karsite's melee attacks can weaken a foe's magic armor, weapon, or shield. If a Karsite knows a particular weapon, armor, or shield in his foe's possession is magical, he can choose to drain that item, provided that he can see it. Otherwise, the item is chosen randomly. Drained items still detect as magical, but the magic appears suppressed. Whenever a Karsite's spell resistance prevents a spell from affecting him, he heals from the damage. Thus, if a spell failed to penetrate a Karsite's spell resistance, he would heal from the damage. A Karsite cannot cast arcane or divine spells, but he can use spell-like abilities, psionic powers, and magic items. Over the centuries, Karsites have discovered one another and founded communities of their own kind. Many of these communities exist within human society, and their members pass off their unusual Karsite appearance as a simple family trait. The Karsites of these regions hide their abilities, their philosophy, and their agenda while doing their best to seem like normal members of society. Long ago, the humans of a forgotten nation persecuted the Karsites out of fear of their abilities. Countless Karsites were hunted down and executed during this period. Brought together by this disaster, some Karsites joined forces and fled the area. They found safety in numbers, as well as a strong feeling of camaraderie based on their shared past. In the process of investigating their history as a group, these Karsites discovered the legend of Karsis and the process of binding vestiges. By summoning Karsis and consulting with him, they've discovered their purpose, to rid humanity of arcane spellcasters and establish the worship of Karsis as the only god. Accomplishing this latter goal would make the Karsites the ruling caste of humanity because of the divine bloodline. Communities of Karsites work toward this goal in many ways, such as discrediting the good works of heroic spellcasters, preventing the founding of temples and schools of magic, stealing magic items and ruining their creators, and taking leadership roles in human settlements. However, they carry out all their work in secret. Despite their evil natures, Karsites loathe killing other humans, primarily because doing so is robbing them of their future servants, who after all don't know any better now. However, they do relish the opportunity to harm spellcasters of any race. Most exceptional Karsites are fighters or binders. Some choose to become monks, barbarians, or rogues, and a few discover psionics and follow that path. Almost no Karsite becomes a ranger or paladin, however, and none are clerics, druids, sorcerers, or wizards.